Hi everybody, I'm Anne from Bricks for Kids and I'm here with Melton City Council Learning Directory. So today we're going to build an amusement park ride. So have you guys ever been to an amusement park? So when you go to amusement parks, you can actually see laws of physics are in play. So we see force, mass, acceleration, gravity. All of these are very important terms in understanding why things move the way they do. So today in our carousel swing uh, build, we are going to learn two key terms the centripetal force and the centrifugal force. So before we start with our builds, we're just gonna park those ideas because we're just gonna go through with our build first and we're just gonna start discussing the theory afterwards. So what we have here today is a carousel swing. So I'm gonna share with you guys a fun fact for today. So did you guys know that the oldest amusement park in the world was opened in 1583 in Denmark? So now we're gonna do our carousel swing ride. So for this, you're going to need a base plate. If you guys don't have a base plate, that's okay, but that just helps hold the structure. So step one, we will need two pieces of one by four tech bricks. So this is the one by four tech brick. That's one, that's the second one. And we'll need two pieces of one by six, one by six. All right. So we need two. This, so now we're gonna assemble it and put it on top of our base plate. So for the base, we'll need to put it for on the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. You could put it anywhere you like, but center would be the most ideal. We're gonna put it in the seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. And if you got it wrong, we could just adjust it. That's okay. And we're gonna pick up the one by four and place it on top over one by six, and we'll do that to the other end as well. So there's one not hanging on each side. Now we're going to move on to step number two. We will need four one by four plates. So this is one, two, three, and four. So these are all our pieces. We'll place it on top of our one by four. And another one. And we'll do the same on this side. So let's pick up our one by four and we're gonna put it stacking up like that. So this is what we have so far. Looks like this from the side. All right. Now we're gonna move to step number three. We will need just two pieces of one by four tech brick. Again, you can choose whatever um, color that you have available. That's okay. And we're just gonna simply put it on top of our tech plates like this. All right, so again, it's one by four tech brick, two uh, one by four plates, and another one by four. So moving on next, we will need four pieces of tech pin friction, looks like this. So that's one, two, three, four. So those all are pieces. We need two on each end. We're gonna place it in the middle like that and down at the bottom, the one by four one. That's it. So it looks like that. Tech pin friction uh, facing outwards. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Like so. It's a bit tricky to get it, but once you hear the click, it should be clipped on like that. So from all sides, it looks like this. Now we're gonna move on to step number five. We will need two pieces of one by six tech brick. One, two, and two pieces of um, tech plate two by eight. So we're gonna assemble it. So pick up your um, tech plate two by eight, put it upright, and we are going to clip our one by six on the edge but we will need to put like a one, um, one stub off like this. So one knob hanging and we are going to connect it onto our tech pin. So we're gonna do it the same on the other end. So we're gonna clip on our one by six to our two by eight like that. So one knob hanging, and we are gonna clip it on like 
like so. Like that. Now we're gonna move on to our step number six. We need one piece of bushing, tiny piece, and a gear eight tooth. This one. We need two axle number six. So one, two, and we need two pieces of tech bricks. So, so, and two pieces of tech pin friction. Looks like this. So we need two of those. And we need to get one motor. So now we're gonna assemble it. So first off, I'm gonna get my tech pin. So the base facing outward, we're gonna put on the, um, each side. We're gonna pop it in like so. So it looks like that. And we are going to get the axle number six and we're gonna slide it at the center like that one. And we're gonna pick up our one by 12 and we're gonna try and pin it on the fourth, fifth and sixth one, so. Looks like that. So one, two, three, four, we'll clip it on. We'll pick up our gear and we'll slide it inside the um, axle like that. So that's the first piece. Now next up, we'll pick up our axle number six and get our bushing, slide it through and we are going to put it on there. So that's one, two, on the second one. And lastly, we'll put the last tech brick, base facing outward, and we're just gonna align it. So this is our um, piece, looks like this. So with this piece, we're trying to attach it on top of these um, one by six. So it's a bit tricky to do it, and we need to do it um, delicately. Okay. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna try and push it like this so it clips on. And on this end, just like that, aligning, lining it up and clipping it on. So this is the base of our carousel swing. Moving on to step number seven, we need two pieces of one by eight tech brick. And we are gonna clip it onto our one by six. Like so. So one um, knob hanging off and lining it up to our one by um, six. And on this end, we'll do the same that. Now it looks like that. Now we're going to move on to step number eight. We need one piece of the gear tooth, the gear 40 tooth, one piece of the pushing, and another um, gear eight tooth. So first off, we need to put the um, gear 40 on top of this piece, the longer one. And you can see in the middle, that's the axle hole. We'll need to align it so that it's, um, it can go through. So we need to gently do it. There you go. So it looks like this. Now you can try and test your gear if it's working by spinning it manually like this. And we need a stopper on top of our gear tooth. So we'll slide one piece of, um, pushing like that and lastly we'll put our gear slide it through the axle and making sure it aligns with our gear 40. So if you have your motor in and you try to twist it if there's a bit of a friction that means it's it's aligned because if we take out the motor it would actually uh, move freely. So this is our carousel.
Next step, we will need three pieces of a tech brick with an axle hole. That's one, two, three, and two pieces of the tech clip. So we just need five, and we'll assemble that five. So again, picking up your tech plate two by eight, we're gonna put it upright. And down at the bottom, we'll place it like this. And the last two, we'll place it upright. Next up, on the other end. So it looks like this. And we're just gonna cover it up with our other tech plate two by eight. So this piece right here will slide through our um, axle. Now you can check again if it's aligned. Step 10, we need an axle number 12. It's the longest one. That's the one. And we are just going to slide it through. We're gonna align the axle and Three. And try to put it in the middle. You could adjust it. So now we're going to move on to step 11, my favorite part again, because we're building our seats. So we need two pieces. So that's one, two, and now we need four pieces of the two by two round brick. So we need four of those. Like this. Looks like that. This is the bottom. Four. And we need four pieces of the one by four plate. So we need four, four, and we need axle number six, this piece. And we need four pieces of the one by two tech brick. Two, three, four. So now we're gonna assemble our seats. We are going to clip our one by four together, like so. And we are going to attach the round two by two brick, like this. If it's tricky to do that, you could pick it up and do it this way. So that's one. Let's do another one. Clip it together. There you go. Looks like that. So now I'm gonna pick up my um, axle number six. And we are gonna push it inside the round two by two brick, like that. And we're gonna pick up a second one. We're gonna place it on top of our second one. Now we are going to get our assembler seat. So we're just gonna place it like this. I'm gonna pop it in like this. So. These are our seats, looks like that. So we're gonna pick up our two by two. We're gonna place it on top, like that. For the next one, we're gonna do the same. Looks like this. Now we're gonna pick up our one by two brick and we are going to clip it like this. So it's a bit tricky to um, clip it on. So we'll do it again and do it on the other side. There you go. So it looks like this. And we'll do the same on the other um, seat. You might need to adjust your two by two. Okay, so that it will clip on. There you go. So we'll just need to check it, making sure everything clips on. There you go. Looks like that on, from this angle. And these are our seats. So next step, we're just gonna slide it through. Right here. And another one in this end. Do it like this. There you go. Now we'll need two pieces of our tech connector. It's one, two. And this is probably by far the easiest step. We'll just clip it on. So make sure it's on like this, on the side. 
facing this way. So this is our carousel build. And if you have your um, tiny Legos, we could try and place them. So you can choose your favorite Lego or whatever Lego that you guys have. And now we'll test it if our build is working by attaching our motor onto our battery. So we'll clip this on. And now I'm just gonna switch. There you go. So as you can see in our build, it is the force that pulls an object towards the center point. So from here, pushing towards the center point. So that's what we call the centripetal force. And also it causes the object to move in a circular path. So the next key term is the centrifugal force and it's the opposite of the force. So it's fleeing away from the center like this. And when we turn on the battery, so you guys can see the theory is in play. It may take a while, but on this end, it has already happened. We'll wait for the other end. There you go. So as you can see, our seats are pushing outward already. Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, which we can clearly see in the relationship between centripetal force and centrifugal force. So can you guys tell me why do seats fly out to the sides as the ride spins? So the answer to that one actually is the centrifugal force causes the seats to fly out away from the center. Can you guys tell me what stops the swings from continuing to fly outward in a straight line and fly off the ride? So the answer to that question actually is the chains keep the swings attached to the carousel. So in our case here on our tiny build, it's these um, axle that attaches to our um, build that keeps it in place. So the chains provide centripetal force that allows the swing to keep going around and around in a circular path. So that was our carousel swing build and I hope you guys had fun learning the key terms. So hopefully when you guys have the chance to go to amusement park, you guys can go and observe the loss of physics in play. Thanks for watching. Check out the Melton City Council Learning Directory website for more videos.